We as one rise on air with war and steel. Welcome back for another one. That's right. We're going into our Halloween themed season. Ah, I'm excited. We're in October. That's that's what happens. Favorite time of the year for me. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, absolutely. Hope everyone out there is doing well. Uh, right. We have a special thing today. Now, this is more of Steel's territory, so we're going to really let Steel go ahead and dive in and tell you guys all about what's going on, the upcoming okay. projects and events. And uh, go ahead, Steel. What's, uh, what's this whole episode about? We're mainly going to talk about the horror film roulette. Uh, okay. But this is the first year you're participating yes. in it. But we're making a film this year. And by the time you see this, we should have everything shot, hopefully, yeah, <laughs> working be, with schedules. Be about that um, it all stemmed from back in the day with old roommates and my wife. And we were just sitting around a bar thinking about how it, cool it would be if all the filmmakers in our area, we all just made five minute horror films. That kind of spawned off into this whole community now where we do uh, like I think this year we have like 25 plus teams that are all going to be creating their own films and then we'll get to show them at an actual theater I think and that's kind of the funnest part is that people get to see their films yeah. on the big screen at legitimate theaters where you know you would normally go I mean this is a theater right down the street where that, I just saw Shang Chi. Oh, is that know. the new Marvel one? And that's the new Marvel yeah, one. Yeah, that, that looks good. And just to hit off that, you know, I mean, it has to be a really cool experience, as you said, for for these you know people to make their own project and then to actually go see it come to life. Yeah, on this movie, you could just show it picture, off in man. front of, to all your friends, and yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's been a blast. It's been uh, we're going. I think this is our seventh year. Yeah, I, I was gonna set, ask. set back one year because of crazy time life and if you guys want to check out all these films are actually online we, on a separate youtube channel it's just if you look up horror film roulette on youtube it's got the hfr logo hit, hit him right with a here link. Hit him with a link. um feel free to check out i think we have probably over 100 plus films that you can just peruse uh, some of them are hilarious wow, wait, some of them are scary 200. oh yeah 100 uh, over a hundred. Uh, over a hundred. Over a hundred. Yeah, still. we definitely have over a hundred films. How does the team mm -hmm. know what kind of film they're going to be making for the project? I designed. It's called the Wheel of Horror, and it is a random genre on each mark that you spin the wheel, whatever it lands on. Yeah, that's the genre you have to work with. Yep. And it kind of forces your hand to get creative in a limited scope of a. Um, horror film yeah no i think it's a uh, really cool i hope to incorporate something like that on the show one day oh and yeah that it, you, it's, you, i do love spinning wheels yeah. i don't know it's a great way to uh you know kind of keep it fresh and, and to possibly have something new every time and, and it's like you don't know what project you're gonna get it's right. just you spin that wheel and well, that's your project right we got every genre nice. um the, uh, you know during this competition so Someone's making a monster movie. Someone's making a sci-fi, a thriller, a supernatural, and uh, that's and, and and two people are making zombie movies. So, thank God I'm not a judge because I would just give those higher scores just because yeah, yeah. I love funny things. But right. I, I I refuse to actually be a judge of these films. I'm, I've always been kind of apprehensive to uh, competitions where the people who are throwing it are judging in such a small community that we have the film community here in Michigan. Um, I, I try to leave it to the professionals. We are lucky enough to have the Detroit Film Critics Society. They're the ones who are judging it. So there's no bias yeah. and it's the best way to uh, just get pure unadulterated scores. And these guys are actually the, uh, the Detroit Film Critics Society. Like these guys are, have like Rotten Tomato accounts that are like verified. They're nice, like actual, nice. like they actually, legit, man. they yeah. actually like review feature films that are out right now, Hollywood blockbusters, indies, you know, everything. And, I, I'm I'm really happy that they're uh, gracious enough and like they enjoy it. I hope <laughs> that at least they agreed yeah. they agreed to do it again this year. So I'm so happy that they get to, they judge it for me because I would be a terrible judge because I know what goes into <laughs> making films and there's always an uphill battle. Uh, and Absolutely. so I would always score things a lot higher than. Well, that's one less thing you have to worry about. Exactly. And the thing we have to worry about, Warren Steele, is we're working on a project of our own. That's right. Yeah. And thou art mine. Thou art mine. Now that is actually a book in the works by yours truly. We've converted your story. We did a small little snippet yep. of your of your book, um, just to get a general feel of you know what your story is about. Yeah. As well as kind of crafting it to sit within five minutes because these yeah. these movies 
they only have to be five minutes long, which doesn't seem like a lot, but I mean, we're, we're, we're already one day into filming yeah. and we have to do a reshoot. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, so. it's, it's definitely a lot of work, but it's definitely, um, I'm, I'm very grateful, by the way. Yeah, it's been fun. I, I think it's uh, amazing to see it come to life. And the fact just, that, just wait until you see it on the big screen. Oh, it's going to be, yeah. it's going to be amazing. But, um, you know, my son gets to get the That's lead right. role. Yeah, he, yeah, he's killing it right now. He's, yeah. he's doing really good. So I'm, I'm really happy that, uh, that we got a chance to, to let him participate in yeah, the film me too man as a father i'm, I'm proud and, mm-hmm. and just as a friend of yours i'm very grateful and i think what you do for the community and the people uh just as far as teaching them and, and bringing everyone together it's it's almost become like a tradition around here you know so a little bit and the cool thing is that like all the people who have participated in over the years like we've kind of become a, a tight-knit group of people a and family yeah. and now uh you know whenever j- jobs come up you know I'll get recommendations from some of these people who, you know, we've competed against or, yeah, you know, yeah. and then and they'll, I'll help them out with with crew or gear. And it just it's a nice symbiotic relationship that's kind of evolved from just us wanting to make horror films. Yeah. For no, the month of October. <laughs> I, I'll tell you one thing, man, is just I was thoroughly surprised with the quality of oh, some yeah. of these films. I mean, so originally you only got two weeks to make the films. This right, is the yeah. first year we're doing four weeks because we wow. know there's a lot going on and we want people to be safe. We don't want people to rush. So we have double the time, now. double the time. So and it's going to get better. And of course, we're, you know, we're still procrastinating. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's but we, we have a lot of, of stuff game. going on, man. So we'll of hit, course, yeah, we'll hit the that deadline and um I, I i think some of the content that i've seen i really highly recommend you guys go check that out at horrorfilmroulette.com yep absolutely and and, and also i'm sure we'll, we'll post something on here yeah head on over there check it out they mm-hmm. got a huge back catalog i still said and uh you'll really be thoroughly surprised of, of how good the content is that's something that initially hit me right off the jump so i guess also like it being halloween i should, i think we should probably hit you guys up with a scary story happy halloween right? coming up guys have a good one yeah. Wait, what? I just told them all have a good Halloween. Yes. Well, well I was going to say is like we should we should just tell some scary stories that we had as a kid. Like, you know, th- like w- what are some scary stories that we can share? Just just this has nothing to do with the competition. This is just getting in the mood for Halloween. I know it's early <laughs> October, but we live for this stuff, man. Yeah, no, that that I'm down. I, I think I have a great story I can okay, share. All right. All right. Go for, go for it. Let's hear it. All right. So and, oh, real quick, if you guys have a scary story from your childhood, oh yeah, yeah, let us know in the comments down below. So when I was younger, there was this place called Magic Pond, right? So it was behind the elementary school where I went. Now, it, it was just this little pond, like a five-foot pond, probably by six feet. But there was this house that used to be there, this old ancient house, right? That's what we were told. And it's, it's all burnt down and scary looking, right? So as a kid, the rumors were there was a witch there. This old crazy woman was a witch, and she would kill people and she would dump them in that magic pond, right? And then there was like this sewer thing that came up. So as a kid, hearing that story was terrifying, man. You know, so we would sneak back to this magic pond and then you'd be like, that's the house. And there it is, man. Like I could almost see and it no in the one, film. And no one would go in the water? Yeah, no one would, no, we would sometimes. But, <laughs> but you know, it, it, it- Tempting fate. Yeah, kind of like, you know, Bloody Mary or those things as a child. Like it oh. really had an impact on us. And, and it was kind of like any noise we heard, we would be scared and don't Ooh. go in the little, the drain pipe thing and, you know, stay away. So, um, you know, story ended up not being true. But it, it was definitely scary. Or was it and you just got lucky? Or was it? Hmm. It, it was um, a scary time as a child. Kind of exciting, but to that point of where it's like scary. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We had something similar. Uh, we'd go to camp every year and there was this legend of the Lady of the Lake. Now, I'm Ooh. probably getting this, this wrong thing about the Lady of the Lake. It was like this urban legend and... Um, people would swear they saw her. There'd be sightings, there'd be this and that. And of course you're in the woods. So you're sitting there and yeah. it, it, you know, they, and they would always make sure to bring you to like the lake to tell you this story yes, yes, yep. uh, on a night <laughs> that was like foggy. Oh, and the, 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 lake, the lake would fog up. So of course you'd see things in the lake. And so you'd always think about the lady of the lake. And anytime you go back to camp, there'd be like, you know, wisps of smoke <laughs> in the background. That was legitimately yeah, because yeah. of the fog, and uh, just naturally spooky. Yeah, yeah, I mean, people. I mean, this is before smartphones and you know cameras still used film. So, um, <laughs> so that was a while ago. Some, some people, well, some people would get photos, right? And then they would share them, and that would just perpetuate, yeah, the, the legend. And because you know, you know, people weren't 
messing around with Photoshop back then. Yeah, uh, no. If someone had an actual hard photo, right. you believed it. And just them old, like, pictures just oh, look yeah. spooky, man. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, yeah, so that was, that was, the Lady, the Lady of the Lake was uh, the she thing was that not, used to terrify me as a kid. She was out to get you still. Yep, yep. That's cool, man. Um, a, a segment we wanted to bring in for this uh, episode was, still had this idea of, to inspire people, I usually do a quote for you guys. Right. We, we thought we would switch it up a little bit, right? Because mm-hmm. I know, uh, yeah, I know with a lot of people, uh, well, me included, there's many times that you just have a hard time powering through something. Yeah. And I'm sure we've all dealt with some type of, you know, stagnation and or just like you're hitting a brick wall. Yes. And sometimes you just tell the day, you know, I'm, I'm taking a mulligan and you just you just give up and just crash. Yeah. Um how do you get through that? Yeah, you know, I think that's a, a great question, and, and it, it does tie in heavily to inspiration. Um, it, it gets hard. As still said, times get hard. Chasing your dream is not an easy thing to do. I've said this before, or everyone would do it. And then there is a lot of times where I and still and everyone else probably feels like just, hey, man, I'm done, right? I give up. I, I feel like giving up a lot of times, if, if chasing your dream was easy, I think everyone would do it. I've said that before. But what really gets me through as an artist, as a father, and just as as a man pursuing his dreams and goals is is to take a look at what you've accomplished and think of the future. Every time you see progress, sit back and and take that in. You know what I mean? Take a second, slow down, and and really appreciate the good things that have happened. And, and, And stop focusing so much on, I'm not big yet. I'm not famous, right? And think about... All the time you've put into this, that's got to have a payoff, right? I mean, if you stay dedicated, if you stay true to the thing you love, one day there will be a return. And I think that return will be just as big as your passion was for that dream. So just really hold on to the the sight of what it can be, what you can be, or what the team you're building around you can be. And just keep going, man. At the end of the day, take a breath, keep pushing, because I promise you, when it happens, you're going to be very happy that you kept going. I believe in you. Steel believes in you. Yep. And and it'll pay off. Just keep going. And so it's kind of like growing bamboo. So you have to water it every day for a certain amount of years. Yeah. And then and it, it just it, it stays like like small. Yes. And the reason it is because like all the roots are growing. Right. And once it hits like yeah, yeah, maximum no. support, it takes off. Then it just pff, shoots off. Absolutely. So it's like growing and, bamboo. Exactly. If you stop watering that bamboo, what's going to happen? You're going to die. You're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> so keep watering that bamboo. That was a good one, man. That's a good That's one. Right. Still. Keep keep on pushing, man. Keep on watering. And, and one day, it will happen. We should get some bamboo plants. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, it's kind of funny to me because everyone calls it overnight success. It's because Oh, like, no. It's never overnight success. It's never overnight, but that's what they always call it. It's because like... When you blow up, like, that's when they discover you, the mm-hmm. majority of people, right? But, like, for the ones who truly know, know, like, man, Warren's still been around for years and years and years, right? So, like, it, it, <laughs> We've been around for funny. 10 episodes. This yeah. is 10 episodes. Well, not this in general. Like, I've done music <laughs> for so long. You've done right. your, your uh, video side of thing for so long. So. I mean, even just the horror film thing we've done for seven years. Seven years, seven years seven bro. Years? So, you know, yeah. like, eventually, that'll be, like, you'll need four movie theater rooms and you know what i mean it's gonna take off man we so. we have we have maxed out one theater before that's at 350 seats which i'm scared that we will go Do again over. i'm worried we're gonna go over this oh year. and not have the other one ready yeah, I'd, I'd feel really bad if people got turned away <laughs> yeah, hey people might be wondering why i have a vest on yeah, why do you have a vest on? I gotta dodge them bullets, boy. No, just because <laughs> i wanted to get in the spirit of halloween and do this on camera so, i wanted to do this on camera you ready <laughs> Turtle, am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Master of disguise, yeah. yeah, I, yeah I, I, I didn't know he was gonna do that. Yeah, man. I just uh, I seen I seen it. I was like, hey, Halloween. Let me throw that on. But uh, no, all jokes aside, guys, keep pushing, keep chasing your dreams. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot. Leave your comment down below if you want your idea on the show. That's right. We might pick it and get it on the show. And you know, as always. See you next time. And happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.